What's up, guys? So, I've been asked a few questions about why I live in a van. Why I chose to live in a van. And I don't have, uh, I don't really have one solid reason for that. So I'm going to give you guys like three. Three good reasons. Three good reasons to live in a van. This is a, this is a American city. This is a German city. This is a German city. This is an American city. I don't know. So three good reasons to live in a van. Three, three reasons, three reasons why I live in a van. Reason number one, why not? You know, it's uh, adventurous. Uh, it keeps life interesting. Um, hold on, there's a trash trash truck behind me. Let me let, let's uh, let that puppy move out of the way before we continue this interview. This message brought to you by California Sense. Free and sensational. So, reason number one, why not? Or wait, no, I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna make that reason number three, actually. That'll be a good, that'll be a good wrap up. So, reason number one is money. Money sucks, I hate money. I hate dealing with money, but you have to. It's just a thing you have to deal with here in the United States of America, and in a lot of other places too, but it's, it's a pretty big thing here. I don't like it, and uh, I'll probably eventually get over that. I mean, I have to. I have to deal with it to a certain extent, but um, it's uh, in San Francisco, in the Bay Area. It's it's hard to make enough money to live in like a decent situation. Unless you're a techie, because then you're like the gold digger among all the, the coal miners, if you're a techie. So they're, they're making plenty of dough. That's fine. And I like techies, don't get me wrong. I'm, I use my fair share of the computer as well. But uh, minimum wage here, minimum wage jobs, normal jobs here that aren't tech jobs. You compare what you get to the amount you have to pay for rent, which is just like crazy, it's like through the roof, it's just not, it's not a pleasant, it's not a pleasant comparison to make. And uh, you know, most people here aren't going to pay under $800 to live in a, in a room that's probably about the size of this van. Uh, I was in actually a really good deal at my, my house that I lived in before this, uh, I was paying f around $560 a month. Um, including utilities and everything. But I shared a room with somebody that was about the same size as this space here. And uh, that brings me to reason number two, which is I needed some privacy. I didn't like, I mean, I, I the roommate situation was fine. The roommate, we got along, it was cool. But, uh, after sharing a room for so long, I've lived here for three years, sharing a room for three years. If it's not a significant other, if it's just a friend, or even worse, just a person, just a regular old person, it just gets really, uh, you just, uh, it's just not, not good. It's not a good experience sharing a room with somebody. You, you lose your sense of privacy, for one. Privacy doesn't exist. So, uh, if you want to, if you want to invite a girl over or a friend or something and just have like a hangout with you and that other person uh... good luck trying to not acknowledge that there's another person in the same room looking at a computer or looking at you or looking at something uh... good luck trying to you know have your own time because you just you don't you don't have your own time or not as much at least. There's there's little moments here and there, but overall you just you kinda gotta work together. You work together and, and you become less of a of an independent individual who's free to do whatever. And uh 
I found also that living in the house, this is also, this will be part of number, reason two, uh, was that I started to become very routine driven. I mean, naturally I'm not a very, I don't, I don't really care for routines. I like to kind of change it up a little bit here and there. And, but, but at the house it was, uh, it was too routine driven for me after a while. After a while I just got really tired of living there. I got tired of waking up, going to work you know, walking like a mile each day to, to ride the bus to work, uh, working all day, coming back home, walking another mile back home, and then just hanging out for a little bit and then going to sleep and being contained to like these four walls that were my bedroom. And, um, yeah, I just got tired of, I got tired of doing that. So I quit doing that. So my solution was, um, that I was going to move out eventually, and I, I didn't really have any plans. I just knew that I couldn't, I couldn't do this thing anymore. I just wanted to, to take a break from it and do something adventurous. Might as well have fun. Everybody might as well have. You might as well just have fun with stuff while you can. So, um, so yeah. And then it's, for some reason, it dawned on me. I was just like, I wonder if you could live in a van. And I had no idea. I mean, I knew people lived in vans. Um, you always see people living, you always hear about people living in vans. You, I would see people occasionally down by like Haight Street and on, on, uh, on, um, what's that road? On, I think the one or, uh, just the, whatever that road, the great highway on Ocean Beach. Um, I would see people sleeping out there. I'd hear about that a lot. So I decided that I would, I was going to research it a little bit and, and check into it. And, uh, to my surprise, it was actually a huge thing. And, and, you know, people called it van dwelling. Um, it instantly, like within a few minutes became a reality for me. And, uh, I pretty much decided to do it that night. And this was, this was like almost a year ago, probably. Uh, I gave my roommates like a six month notice so they'd have plenty of time to find somebody, you know, to, to fill my space and everything. But yeah, I made my decision almost instantly. Um, it was like, wow, what a, what, why not? Like, why not? Every, everything I need is here. Um, and I live a pretty simple life. I don't need a lot. Uh, but then I saw, like, other van dwellers that were doing, like, things that I had no clue people did in vans. Like, um, like re renovating the entire thing. And then putting electrical outlets and, and installing sinks and installing all this other stuff and and um, installing solar panels on the top so they could power video games, they could power TVs, they could power computers, they could power you know lights, like anything anything that they want, anything they could have in a house, they could power inside their van with solar panels. And that's a real thing that you can do. It's actually pretty easy. There's tutorials for it on, on YouTube that you can watch. So, I mean, aside from having a bathroom, which honestly isn't that big of a deal, um, everything is here. Uh, so I just figured, like, why not, you know? And honestly, I, I don't need... I've got, I've got a laptop. I used to go use the internet and stuff, and not to, and I used the school's computers, so I don't really need that stuff. Uh, for entertainment, I work at a movie theater, so I can just go watch movies for free and get free popcorn. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's, there's nothing, there hasn't really been much of a change since I moved out. A noticeable change. The only difference is that I now have to pee in a container which I won't show you, but it's just a little container that I pee in, and I put my pee in there, and then every so often, every like maybe tw uh, uh, three times a week, I will empty this container into the world. I will put it in the grass. I've seen some van dwellers install it. a tube that goes down to the bottom of their van and out the floorboard and just onto the ground. That's a pretty good idea, I think. I might eventually do that. I don't know how I feel about having the urine uh, just right underneath there and people walking by and seeing like liquid dropping down out of the van. So that's that's one little thing to be sort of hesitant about for that sort of plan. And then showers. 
you know, I've, I've already talked about a little bit of this stuff. So the, so the other thing that changed was showering. And you don't really need to shower that much at all, I don't think. And, but I shower like twice or three times a week, maybe probably twice, maybe three times. And I just go to the Academy of Art gym and I can just shower there. You know, wear, wear some flip flops. You don't want to get the fungus on your foot. But then, uh, I mean, I could also go to 24 hour fitness. That's what a lot of people do is they go to fitness places. And some people even have like shower hookups. Like I could potentially build a shower thing in here and then just like open the back doors, hang it over there, you know, put it, wrap a curtain around and just use this shower if I wanted to. So I wouldn't have to pay anything for a gym membership. Which brings me back to reason number one, money. Uh, you're, you're, okay, so when you're living in a van, you obviously don't have to pay any rent at all whatsoever, which is awesome. And just, if, you, if you're tired of paying rent in general, if you need to save money, if you are in a bind and you have to move out, um, these are all good things. Like if you, if it's possible for you to save your life by moving into a van, it's possible to sit, to uh, thrive or or uh, succeed while living in a van. Um, while you're living in a van, your rent will be gas money, food, uh, a gym membership, maintenance, and other van fixing stuff so basically gas is gonna cost you like it depends on how much you drive it doesn't cost me much at all like I've put $50 in and that'll last me a month because it's in because it's in the Bay Area and everything's close and you can just ride public transportation and just sleep in a van so basically I don't use I don't like drive everywhere in this thing not yet at least I don't like I don't drive everywhere yet. I plan to eventually, but for now I just park it, I sleep in it, and I ride public transit everywhere else, or I ride my bike or my skateboard. Uh, number two was food. Food's pretty easy. I mean, food isn't that expensive. Uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna be able to keep more from your paycheck, you'll be able to eat out more, which is kind of cool, but also like a little less healthy. So just watch what you're eating. Uh, but but even if you're just buying food for yourself in here, it's super cheap. You know, you just go to a grocery store, you get some typical stuff, you get some vegetables, you get some sandwich, lunch meat goodies, and uh, you know some Swiss cake rolls just to counterbalance the healthiness and and uh, some water because water conquers all. Then you're good. Number three, uh, gym membership. This is a this is a not mandatory. This is optional. You don't have to have a gym membership, but if you do want one, it's not too expensive. It's like 50 bucks a month. So, yeah. And then the fourth one was, uh, or wait, the fourth one was the van maintenance, which I'm going to take that one out. That one doesn't count. Neither does van fixer uppers because that's, that's all like a thing that you're not going to be typically paying whenever you're living month to month. So we got these three here. These are the three average ones. So we've got gas, food, gym membership. Let's say you pay $50 for each per month. I know that's possible because I've gone for like two months. I've gone for a month with $20 on food. So let's say $50 each. That's 150 bucks, right? $150. That is easy peasy. That is like super, super dog easy right there like you're gonna be thriving you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be jumping in the dream that's what we're just we're gonna make that one up you're jumping in the dream put it right across the bottom here jumping in the dream so uh, guys I hope you liked the video those are my th oh I forgot the third reason third reason is uh, why not you know why not Okay, so guys, I hope you liked the video. Um, shoot me some comments. Shoot me some emails. Shoot, uh, I got a MySpace. Um,
Oh, I also, I make some other videos. If you want to check them out, I'm going to put the link down here. It's at polarbearstudiosfilm.com. Or no, it's YouTube. It's Polar Bear Studios Film. I'm going to put a comment down here, the, the uh, description, in the description. And uh, go there and check out some videos if you want to. They're not anything like these videos. These are more like just regular me talking type things. But those are... Those are like what I'm doing in school and weird sort of stuff and videos that I make. So if you want to see them, if you're into that sort of stuff and you like watching videos and short films, which a lot of people don't really care, uh, go check them out because, you know, you might enjoy them. Um, so that's pretty much it. So I go, hope you guys have a good day and I will see you next time. Let me know if you have any more questions and peace out. And you guys are cool and do something fun and um, don't support SeaWorld um, uh, tell me what your favorite movies are tell me what your favorite movie is I dare you tell me what your favorite movie Bye-bye.